In 1886, the beginning of a transportation revolution took place with the invention of the world's first practical automobile. From that moment on, the world of automobiles has developed at a staggering speed. They've become one of the most popular means of transportation. So, over the years, countless innovative and unusual car designs have been developed, with more than a handful raising eyebrows. Here are some of the wackiest automobiles you'll ever see. 15 Strangest Cars Ever Made Cabin in a Prius The car that will change travel forever, the Prius Relax Cabin from a Japanese conversion maker is 100% up to snuff when it comes to sleek, modern RVs. Can you believe it sleeps four? The lower cabin has a double bed extending back from right behind the front seats. Just behind the upper sleeping area is a vented skylight and two windows that add light and fresh air into the cramped quarters. The rear seats of the Prius fold down to form the lower berth. In their upright position, they still provide adequate seating for two adults. The interior space is enormous, with an additional 20 inches to the Prius' original length, and the inside height is 7.5 feet, the height of a standard house door frame. The beds in the lower berth can be folded into a couch to make room for a small dinette table. The kitchenette and dinette are scaled down to fit the space. Since the Prius already plays host to a huge rechargeable battery bank, the fridge and microwave easily run off of its 100 volts. Recharging electronic gadgets or supplying power is simply a matter of plugging into a standard outlet. It's a great example of a modern RV conversion. The lines are curved with an ergonomic feel that makes the space seem more comfortable than your typical angular RV. Peel P50 This small vehicle might not look like much, but rest assured, this little marvel is just as fascinating as the most complex of cars. The fad of micro cars were a trendy idea that took off in the 40s and 50s, but lost practicality in many people's lives soon after the rise to the top of the sales charts. Of all the micro cars that released over the next few years, the PLP50 was a step above the rest with its ultralight single seat three wheeled cabin powered by a motorcycle engine. It had no reverse gear, which made little difference in the car's ability to maneuver thanks to its insane lightness and form factor. The vehicle's weight only reached 130 pounds, meaning it could be easily maneuvered. It could just make a big circle if it needed to turn around. If reversing was an absolute necessity, the vehicle was light enough for the driver to lift the car by an attached handle. Who needed to reverse when you could just grab the car and spin it around? The company actually expected you to lift the car to get it to where it was going. Can you believe that? As time went on, it didn't last as long as the company had hoped the fad would, and during its heyday, the Peel was considered the world's smallest car and the only one built on the Isle of Man. Smart cars, as they're called today, are the next evolution of the micro car, the same idea from all those years ago. Spandex BMW Concept cars are meant to evoke the imagination and inspire the future of car design. While many of the concepts never make it to market, their unique design often influences some new auto technology that takes the industry by storm. The top automakers from around the world put forward their best in the design of the concept cars, and despite being years away from being made, if they ever are, they somehow find a spot within the human psyche to nuzzle and remain. BMW is one of the wildest of said brands, and their newest concept car is testament to that. Would you ever drive a vehicle made of fabric? The BMW Gina is one such car and has the industry up to its head trying to figure out what can be created with the new tech. The aptly named Gina may seem awfully conventional, but when you get up close and personal, you'll realize that the pristine satin paint job is not a paint job at all, but rather the vehicle is blanketed fabric. The material covering the car was formed of four separate sections, with it made up of a mesh lower layer and a waterproof heat-resistant poly ethylene covered outer layer supported by metal wire and carbon struts. Various parts of the body were movable, like a pop-up spoiler that could change the shape of the vehicle while the grill could change size depending on cooling needs. <laughs> Ice Wagon 
While climate change might have you chewing on your nails deciding whether to buy that new gas-guzzling SUV, one company is thinking to turn that idea around by creating an all-ice cream vehicle that SUV owners can be proud of. That is, if you can get over the fact that the whole thing is made of meltable ice. In order for this vehicle to work, it would have to reside in a place where it never gets above freezing. You can easily surmise what would happen if a car made of ice was exposed to the blistering heat. The Mercedes G-Wagon ice replica is constructed with astounding quality and attention to detail. An engineering team out of Novobrisk, Russia, constructed the vehicle by using a chassis from an old ex-Soviet era UAZ-469 military jeep and welded a steel box frame to the base of the car to resemble the box shape of the G-Wagon. A whopping six tons of sculpted ice blocks was used to create this amazing work of art in engineering. Lego Bugatti When it comes to the famous children's toy, Lego stands as one of the most prominent, effectively reaching into the adult and children modeling realms with some dazzling designs. In other words, Lego leaves an impact on people well after childhood and still get that building itch for which they inspired. Anyone that enjoys working with their hands in the realms of engineering, art, or construction find these toys to be one of the best ever created. Today, you can check off functioning Lego Bugatti on the long list of things created with Legos. The Lego geniuses over at company headquarters, who have dubbed themselves Lego Masters, designed and constructed the Marvel with a working prototype. The building required over a whopping million Technic Lego pieces, the strongest in their wide-ranging line of sets to choose from. According to the construction team, it took roughly 13,500 man-hours to finish. It was primarily a pack fashion project commissioned by Lego, but it really gives example of how incredible these toys really are. Oof Electric As World War II burned through Europe, and with Germany just having invaded France, Paris was occupied by the Nazis and the streets were littered with the military vehicles. With all the gas going towards occupied war efforts, many residents resorted to horses and carts to deliver goods. With gas being scarce and barely any French innovators trying to turn out new vehicles, it was a real dark time for the automotive industry in the war-torn country. Thus, the lightweight, egg-shaped Oof Electric was born. The vehicle was shaped like an egg and fashioned from an aluminum and plexiglass body. The plexiglass doors offered greater visibility than a typical car, and the electric stood out even more because of its three wheels. It was designed for the basic auto requirement without the needs of extensive gas consumption. It was constructed to serve the people of France during these uncertain times. Ferrari Modulo one of the most bizarre cars ever created has got to be that of Ferrari Modulo. It's a step aside from what Ferrari is known for. Presented at the 1970 Geneva Motor Show, the space-looking Modulo is a unique two-seater designed by Paolo Martin, who is considered the father of the Fiat 130 Coupe. This curvy wedge exterior with the otherworldly interior earned a 2A whopping 22 international awards for design. However, he never went on to explain why the Modulo's controls were housed in a pair of road rotating spheres. You have to see this thing to believe it. <laughs> Scuba Car It was only a matter of time before a hybrid vehicle that could transform into a submarine James Bond style would emerge on the market. The Renspeed Scuba is one such vehicle, and it's turning heads wherever it ends up. After a million euro investment, the company Renspeed began the project by utilizing the premium body of Lotus Elise, which they purchased from their local Lotus dealer. This is mentioned because the company wanted no part in the project officially, though they probably wish they had now. Once it was picked up, it was stripped for parts and Renspeed sold some of the spare parts, including the engine, back to the same dealer for which they purchased it from. Six waterproofed lithium-ion sea scooter batteries and an all-electric motor were equipped, and the scuba runs at zero emissions, another incredible feat that Renspeed managed to pull off. Perhaps the biggest surprise comes when you hit the water and the scuba floats. There's a lot of foam in it, but it's still incredible that a near one-ton chunk of metal manages to bob so gracefully in the water. The Geometric SUV The biggest modern complaint about SUVs is that they all look the same and guzzle gas. From one vehicle to another, many sport the same frame, same sizes, and same tech. Since the climate issues have forced them into a slump, few companies are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with the form factor. Finally, someone has stepped up to the plate for the challenge. The company Carlman set out to change the world's perception about SUVs, and they're doing so extremely well. This vehicle is a testament to that, measuring in at almost 12 feet long, the 
The King SUV is being boasted as the heaviest SUV on the market, tipping the scales at a whopping 4.5 tons. And this is without all the bells and whistles you can get added. For instance, upgrade to the optional bulletproof version and you can effectively add another 12,000 pounds to already massive weight. If SUVs are to be known as gas guzzlers, this baby sure embraces that trait. Despite a ridiculous V10 engine hiding under that hood, it still isn't powerful enough to overcome its tremendous weight. It tops out at a mere 87 miles per hour, which is a lot of power when considering the weight and you're tugging around and it's insane. The SUV costs nearly as much as it weighs. In fact, it's the world's most expensive SUV on the market and this is without any upgrades. At bare minimum, this beast would run you about $1.9 million and to add on all those features, we're talking about two and a half mil. <laughs> Bentley Tank when it comes to consumer experiments into weaponizing vehicles, these Russian engineers are taking it up a notch. The design team have commenced a project of transforming a Bentley Continental GT into a powerful tank down to the treads. The project wasn't as easy as it sounds, and you have to give the construction team mad respect for getting as far as they did. They call the project the Ultra Tank, and it's a fitting name for this luxurious tank-like vehicle. While the team says there's much to still be worked out, they're making incredible strides in the right direction. The primary concern they have runs into there isn't enough tension on the treads, which allows the tracks to slide off the vehicle during hard cornering. Thanks to the incredible weight of a standard tank, this doesn't happen. A car, on the other hand, leans and allows the treads to easily slip off. Somehow, they have to make the car heavier without sacrificing efficiency. Bulletproof armoring, anyone? There are also powertrain tweaks that had to be made before this thing is anywhere near street legal. The engineers want the vehicle to be able to hit at least 62 miles per hour, but in its current state, can only top off at around 40 miles per hour. Just put a heavy cannon on top and call it a day. <laughs> Rolls-Royce Vision this otherworldly Rolls-Royce concept car is nothing short of amazing. When it comes to the future of luxury vehicles, Rolls-Royce wants to make sure it stays in the lead with its incredible vehicle options. Take a look at this futuristic car for yourself. It may cost an arm and a leg, but at least you get to roll around in the ultimate luxury. Inside this amazing car is nothing but luxury, with a silk lounge chair, real wood, and hand-woven wool carpet for your pleasure. With cars like this just around the corner, it's safe to say the future is about to get funky. Solar Powered Car With every industry looking into alternative methods of power, it was only a matter of time before the automobile got the solar treatment. Some people might say that a vehicle is the most important part of a person's life. In terms of saving time or getting certain jobs done fast, there's no better alternative. Like the horse in the past, the automobile is the future. The UNSW solar racing team SunSwift designed a solar car dubbed the SunSwift Eve. It's a sunlight-based car that's gone on to crush the past sun-powered records. They at present hold various world records, including the speediest sun car. With gas prices continuing to climb, even as we speak, alternate-powered vehicles are continuing to be developed. 1,000 mile per hour car. The insane Bloodhound LSR is a British land vehicle designed to travel at supersonic speeds, not for consumer use, of course, but with the intention of setting a new world speed record. The arrow-shaped rocket car has been under development since 2008, and it's powered by an incredible jet engine. The plan is to equip two of them. The concept was originally developed in 2008 to break the 763 mile per hour land speed record currently held by the Andy Green and Thrust SSC. The goal was also to crack the 1000 mile per hour mark. The last record was of his own making, so he would essentially be smashing his own record. Finance problems have once again caught up with the project and it's come to a standstill for the time being. However, the driver and team behind the record are still dead set on breaking the record as soon as they find the funds to get it done. With two engines making the vehicle critically dangerous, they're having a real hard time finding the right investors to back the record-breaking stunt. Got the dough and want to see it through? Get in touch with these stunt drivers and clue them in. Just make sure the internet gets a hold of it. Stout Scarab this bizarre car of the past thought it knew what the future held in terms of design. As you all know, concept vehicles have been a long-standing tradition in human society since, well, the invention of the automobile. For as long as the car has been a part of society, 
Visionaries from around the world have combined their knowledge to construct what they believe is the future of automotive industries. William Stout wasn't just an automotive engineer, he's arguably the father of modern aviation. He wanted to make a mark on this new and emerging industry as well. And boy did he. Behind his name, he's credited with many aeronautical inventions, including the first commercially available monoplane with a cantilevered, internally braced wing. In other words, he created a plane with a bat wing. The little known about genius inventor is also credited to imagine an all-metal airplane, viewing it as a superior alternative to the stretched fabric over wood frame construction of the time. Stout thrived on analyzing existing designs, then improving upon them. To stand on the shoulders of giants, as he would once put his methodology, Stout Scarab can be considered the first minivan. The vehicle boasted new, innovative technology like fenders incorporated into the body, deleted running boards, rear wheel skirts, hidden hinges, and flush glass. Not only did this baby run right, it looked stunning. All of it meant to allow the driver and passengers to travel in luxury and, above all else, safety. Like the minivan to come later, it was created for the family and was constructed upon the principles of reliance and safety. <laughs> The Norman Timms Special Norman Timms was a Los Angeles-based mechanical auto engineer with extensive Indy 500 race car building experience who left behind a legacy in the auto world. In the 1940s, after he had already obtained extensive experience, he wanted to take all that skill and construct a one-of-a-kind car for himself to sport around town. The whole car came in at around $10,000, which was pretty pricey for the time. The design of this unique car would come from the mid-engine auto union racers of the 1930s. The vehicle that he created measured 47 inches tall and rides on a 117-inch wheelbase, coming in at a total length of about 17 feet long. It has aluminum layering over a tube-frame chassis and weighs just under a ton. The engine was fashioned from a mid-engine Buick straight eight with dual carburetors, a real marvel of the time. The soon-to-be cherry red vehicle utilized customized modification by the man himself. He popped in a 1947 Ford suspension for a smoother ride and it was probably one of the smoothest vehicles of the decade. It even came equipped with an independent rear suspension system using Packard and Ford driveline components. This amazing vehicle was said to be able to top off at 120 miles an hour. Ever since the car was invented, innovators from around the world have been trying to decide what the future of the industry will look like, thus the birth of the concept car. While many never make it off the showroom floor, they do inspire some radical attempts at design. Some of these, so rare in their one-off concept construction, are unlike anything you've ever seen. What else is out there, and what will come next? If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.